Hi, I'm Sean with Sean Warren Fine Art, and today I have received a couple of boxes from Amazon with some colored pencil supplies, so I wanted to share that with you. The first box is a big box from Amazon. All right, these are boxes for my colored pencils. There's two of them, and they're very heavy duty. I was really happy because when I went on Amazon to shop for these, I had some Amazon credits, so I was able to spend my, my points, and these cost me $8 and no shipping. So I have a set of 60 Faber-Castell polychromos, and I am adding to that set. I'd like to fill out the whole set, so I've been ordering the open stock pencils whenever I have a chance. So I needed some more space to keep my colored pencils. These are stackable and they're heavy duty. It looks like they're oak. Um, let me open one and see what they look like inside. I'd like to get some other colored pencils as well. I'm adding to my collection of polychromos colored pencils. I'd like to fill out the collection so whenever I get a chance I order uh, the open stock colored pencils. I've almost got a full set now. I'm expecting another shipment of some additional colored pencils in a few days. So here's my box. Uh, drawers, the drawers are lined uh, with foam. There are three drawers, you can, if you can see this. There are three drawers, and I really like the idea that I'll be able to have all of my colored pencils accessible to me. And I believe the drawers pull out, it, yeah, the drawers pull out completely. So if I wanted to lay them all out around me so I could see my whole collection, I'd be able to do that. So that's my first box. If I can get the drawer back in. Okay, there we go. All righty. So my next box is from Dick Blick, and I believe this is some supplies for my colored pencils. Recently I've been doing more colored pencils, and I'm moving from using odorless mineral spirits uh, to using powder blender. And I've ordered a couple things from Dick Blick, so I'm not sure which one this is. Let's see. This is a pad of U Art Premium Sanded Pastel pa Paper. And when you use the powder blender, you have to use a sanded paper or gessoed paper. So I've ordered a pad of this, and I believe in another shipment, I ordered a couple panels as well. So let's see what's in this other package. All right, so this is the colored pencil touch-up texture. And this allows you to add tooth back onto your paper if you have lost the tooth of your paper uh, due to pressing too hard on your paper. So it comes in a little nail polish bottle and you just paint it on and then you're able to put more layers on top of your colored pencil. And this is the colored pencil, pencil powder blender and you have to use this on a sanded paper. I haven't used it yet so I don't know a whole lot about how to use it but I'm going to be using it on my next project. I also just got some things from Hobby Lobby so I always try to time my coupons so that I get the most discount and I've been hitting some really good sales at Hobby Lobby lately. Um, they had some um, oil mediums and watercolor mediums on sale on clearance. I got them for like three bucks for a bottle. I got those a few days ago but today I just went by Hobby Lobby and got a few things and I'll show you what I got. So this is not that exciting but very useful. It's a package of foam brushes and there are different kind of little foam blenders in here and that's for blending the powder blender. When you use the colored pencil powder blender um, you need to blend it. It's kind of like pastel in that you need to blend it with something spongy and soft. So I bought some of these and then I got an airbrush cleaning kit. Uh, sometimes I use my airbrush to put backgrounds on my colored pencil projects and so I needed something good to clean my airbrush. Last time I used it, it got clogged up and it hasn't been working so great since. And then I got, talking about things on clearance, this is a bottle of masking fluid so I got it for four bucks and it was regular $16 so um, this will also help me 
before I do my airbrush on my color pencil backgrounds. I can mask the edges and then put a piece of brisket over my main image. So, And then just a sanding block to help preserve my colored pencils so I'm not always running them through the pencil sharpener. So that's all I have today and I look forward to sharing my upcoming colored pencil projects with you. So until next time, have a great day.